All right, guys, so this is another really popular exercise for the isolator. It is the prone leg curl. So let me go through a few basics. This first, you're gonna see the angle of the arm, which is gonna look very off for a lot of people. A lot of the time, people make the mistake of starting with the arm level, and you run out of range of tension, which is not necessary, and I'm gonna show you guys. So I've kind of decided to give you guys a rule of thumb from the top hole here. If this was the top hole, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the eighth hole down. So it's this angle, but kind of giving a rule of thumb from the vertical hole, somewhere around seven or eight holes down this way is the angle that we're at here. I have the height set at about 11 holes or exposed until you hit the carriage here. So 11 holes up until you hit the carriage with one inch holes. So again, that's on my rack with my spacing, but it gives a rule of thumb. It's about a hand's width under my hip, okay? So that's kind of where I have it down. It's not too high to hop on, but it gives me enough room to be able to load a weight plate on here and not be too close to the ground. So it's still a comfortable space. Um, you'll notice that I'm also using the side weight pin. The side weight pin for a prone leg curl, which has a longer range of tension, is definitely gonna give me an advantage to be able to feel that tension towards the end. One of the last tricks that you could do is to pull out the angled bumper. That would give you another little bit of range, but for me, I don't really need it. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys, I'm gonna leave it in here. That's gonna give me a little bit more tension at the start of the movement. So now again, back to this kind of crazy angle that looks like it wouldn't give me a full range of tension, but I'm gonna have you kind of come around this side here and kind of show when I get in here. As soon as I come in, I've got my bench set up on the other side for me to lay on, depending on how your bench angles is gonna be kind of the angle that you're at or how high you have the pad. So for here, I'm gonna come in, and as you'll see with me flat, my ankles actually hit just here at the start of the movement. So right here would be me down, and this little bit of gap closes here. Now there's gonna be tension right here. So my legs are still having tension through the whole range of motion, but what this is gonna do is because of it being set at this angle, I'm gonna be able to curl all the way up with tension. And then I'm gonna be able to come all the way back down and come all the way back up. So the big mistake is people start with the arm all the way level and then the resistance arc dies at the end of the movement and you don't get that, that range right here at that contraction point. So making sure that you guys have this angle set up and you have the side weight pin. And again, you could even reduce the bumper and give yourself a little extra range, but this will give you a full range of tension all the way to the end. And this is kind of what that setup looks like. I hope it helped you guys.